Welcome to the Scholars Learning Classes. In this video, we will be studying about Sheri culture. Like from cocoon, how we get the silk. Now, what is Sheri culture? See, the breeding and management of the silk worms for the production of silk is known as Sheri culture. The breeding and management. of silk worms for the production of silk is known as sericulture. See, we will be studying about the process, how uh, you know from uh, how the silk is obtained from the cocoon. Now, see uh, when these farmers they breed and manage the silk worms for the production of the silk. This process is known as sericulture. Now, see the female silk moth lays hundred of eggs at a time. Now, these eggs are stored care carefully on the strips of cloth or paper and sold to silkworm farmers uh, those who do the sericulture now now these farmer keep these eggs in a very hygienic condition and with the suitable environment and temperature and humidity so that eggs are not spoiled and they get the exact temperature which would convert these egg to larva and after that they uh, make the cocoon and after it the silk is manufactured out of it the silk thread is taken out from that cocoon all such steps include your seri culture. Uh, now these eggs are given the suitable environment, a suitable temperature, which is uh, you know suitable for hatching. Now which is suitable for their growth, which is suitable to uh, you know form the cocoon. Now this process is known as incubation. So a female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time now these eggs are warmed to a temperature these eggs are warmed to a temperature suitable for hatching suitable for hatching right now this process is known as this is known as incubation right when you are giving the uh, exact temperature what the silk uh, worm wants in order to grow the eggs uh, into the cocoon now that temperature when you give to the eggs that process is known as incubation from cocoon to silk now see for obtaining silk moths are reared and their cocoons are collected to get silk threads now in this process there is number one is rearing of silkworm. Under this what happens, what are the uh, steps that are taken in, see, see eggs are stored carefully on strips of clothes cloth and are sold to silkworm farmers who take out the who perform the seri culture who take out this silk uh, you know fiber out of this cocoon after that what is the step now there is incubation i've told you incubation in the previous slide that the farmers keep eggs under 
hygienic condition and under suitable condition of temperature and humidity the eggs are warm to a suitable temperature for the larva to hatch from the eggs this is done when the mulberry trees bear a fresh crop of leaves now when incubation is done it is done when your mulberry leaves mulberry tree leaves tree bear a fresh crop of leaves now after that what happens the larva called caterpillars or silk worms eat day and night and increase their size in enormously right they keep on eating day and night and they increase their size very fast the larva are kept in clean bamboo trays along with freshly chopped mulberry trees now these uh, larvas they are kept in the bamboo tray with the freshly chopped mulberry trees after 20 to 25 days third step what we do the larva or you can say the caterpillar are kept in clean bamboo trays along with freshly chopped mulberry leaves now if we observe after 25 to 30 days the caterpillar they stop eating and move to a tiny chamber of bamboo in the tray to spin cocoon now small racks or twigs may be provided in the tray to which cocoon gets attached now the caterpillar or silk worm spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk moth so at last what happened the caterpillar or the silk worm spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk moth right the next step comes out is the processing of silk now from this we have obtained that we have got the silk fiber on the cocoon now how to take out the silk or fiber from the cocoon that is the processing of silk now processing silk now from the cocoon you obtain the silk fiber in this what are the steps that we intake is number 1 the cocoons are kept under the sun or boil or they are exposed to steam now after heating this cocoon what happens the silk fiber separates out Uh, wherever you heat this cocoon or you boil this cocoon or you give a steam to this cocoon, the silk fiber separates out. So the process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling the silk. Now, the process of taking out threads. from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling the silk after that after then when you uh, do the reeling when you take out the thread out of this cocoon by heating or boiling it 
Now, the, this reeling is done in the special machines which unwind the threads or fiber of silk from the coupon. Now, silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are woven into silk clothes by weavers. So, at last, what happens? The silk fiber that you obtain by boiling the coupon are then spun into silk threads. into silk threads now after that the weavers woo it which are woven into silk cloth after that after obtaining the silk fiber by the help of machines and uh, the weavers they make the silk clothes now this is how you convert the coupon into silk cloth. I hope you have understood this completely. Any doubts, any questions, do write it on the comment box. We will help you. And don't forget to download our Scholars Learning app.